holding this on. I've been holding this way too long. Way too long. And bro, I'm excited. I'm happy. I am happy, y'all. I'm finally starting this podcast. This has been like a a longer way to thing. You feel me? Now I got me and my brother podcast. If y'all want to go check it out, it's in it, it is in the link description box below. But this right here is the personal podcast I believe God has called me to do. You feel me? And I, I'm kind of nervous for it because I don't know how to spec the feedback off of it. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? It's, if God called you to do something, hey, you just got to do it, my boy. You heard me? Uh, by the way, y'all, this this right here, don't ever get this. I ain't going to lie to you. Arizona sweet tea, don't ever get this. But um, it's not that good. I'm not going to lie. It's not that good. Maybe it's not cold. I don't know. But look, I got a couple different topics that I want to talk about today. You feel me? But before we get into this uh, podcast. I want to let y'all know that the podcast name is the Pen TV Podcast. I feel like that's normal, simple name, nothing too fancy. The Pen TV Podcast. So we gonna try to do this podcast every other week or every week. You know, what I'm saying I'm still go along with my conservative topics and I'm still be doing reactions to all of that too. But I just feel like I just want to kind of try something different with the channel. It's 2022. We taking over, baby. So I got a couple topics. Like I said, I want to talk uh, talk about. I'm gonna be bringing a lot of different people on this podcast. Um, to parents of family members friends like people that y'all probably know of you know i'm be bringing a lot of people you know what i'm saying it's all about networking and everything so we're gonna be bringing a lot of people on this podcast man but welcome to the podcast cheers come on get your get your nasty arizona sweet mm. <sighs> come on man cheers baby welcome to the podcast though welcome to the the pan tv podcast now the first topic i want to get into is right here all right now i'm uh, on the screen right now, I found this video, right? I found this video and it's, it said, is there a level of wholeness? Now, honestly, I seen like a little snippet of this and bro, this woman, like, bro, we go talk about it. We go talk about it. And I need y'all let me know in the comment section below. Do y'all think there's a level of wholeness to this game? You feel me? And by, what I mean by that is that, do you feel like a woman can sleep with this amount of guys and not be called a hoe and it's just a it's a level to it you know you gotta do certain things you gotta hold yourself up to this standard like what do y'all think bro so let me go ahead and get into it man uh and yeah I'm, bro, I'm excited i'm excited nervous hey just bear with me boy you feel me but we think go ahead and get into it and see what she gotta say man uh hit the like button subscribe to no post notifications hey we getting lit baby we lit all 2022 let's get it man teach you something for today for all women that's listening to me I'm gonna teach you something. You I know about hoes. Okay, I but I, like Trust I said, me, I know like about I said before, very you could you could have sex with 100 men and you're not a hoe. Let's go wait. Stop. Let me finish. That's Let how me, you carry yourself. Finish. You could have sex with 100 men and you're not a hoe. It's how you move. <laughs> If I'm not fucking the whole hood, if I'm not having sex with the whole entire hood, I'm fucking from Queens to Brooklyn to Canarsie to I go up uptown, I go to Philly. I'm not a hoe. I'm 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 very disguised. I'm a woman. I'm not a hoe. I am not a hoe. You're a hidden hoe. No, I'm not a hidden hoe. I'm a hoe. You're I'm a hidden hoe. 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 Somebody that's sloppy. A hoe got no, no value. A hoe will fuck your man. A hoe will fuck your grandfather. A hoe will fuck the neck. The 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 your homies. Person. That's a hoe. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Bro, oh, okay, look, 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 we don't, look, we, we done, we done, baby, we, we done, we are done, let me, let me, let me turn the mic this way, because look, we done with that, we done with that, okay, now, she said there's a level, like, she, she basically saying that it's a level to this, you feel me, it's a level to this, she said, I'm not, if I'm not doing this to you, that man, that man, this man, but baby, you, you, you did it to a hundred Dudes, like I'm just I'm confused because honestly, you did it to a hundred dudes. You are considered a hoe. You are out here just standing around, slanging around. Now it could be a difference. She is right what she said. Uh, it depends on how you hold yourself up. Because honestly, if you if you are out here just having sex just to have sex, I'm talking about like okay, you messing with that person, then you go ahead and mess with his homie. Then you go ahead and mess with his homie homie. Then you go ahead and mess with his father. Then his granddaddy. You know what I'm saying? Like. Okay, I get that, but she's right. It is a certain way that you hold yourself. But I feel like, dog, if you, if you got a hundred, if you over here messing with and having sex with a hundred different men, what do you consider yourself as? Do you just consider yourself as a regular female? I mean, bro, your coochie is used. That is like that's that's bro, that's a hundred mouths. That's a hundred mouths. You're not even brand new no more. That's a hundred mouths you got. You feel me? A hundred miles. My whole thing is, bro, in all honesty, when it comes to women in general, because I, I, I see, I'm on like both sides. It's like, 
I'm kind. I'm not trying to contradict myself, or you know, I'm not trying to. You feel me? Like I'm kind of like in the middle because I feel what she's saying. Because if a dude had a hundred bodies, then you know what I'm saying it'll be okay. But once a woman have a hundred bodies, it's not okay. You feel me? So it's like I'm kind of like, eh, but I'm kind of up because it's just like I don't know. Like, are you a hidden hoe? Like, what? Like, have you had a hundred boyfriends, or you just having sex to have sex? Like, I'm just confused. You feel me? She didn't specify that. You feel me? She just saying, if I go to this state, then go over here, then go to that city, then go right here. Like, I'm still just like, you know what I'm saying? You just all over the place getting your cuckoo knocked in. You feel me? Like, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about that, bro. Is there a level to wholeness or do you feel like a woman can honestly, you know, have this amount of bodies and not be a hoe? You feel me? Because I know a lot of dudes can have this amount of bodies and they make it normal because that's what society do. They make it normal for dudes to have this amount because we dudes. You feel me? But once a woman have that amount, because I guess... Their coochie is very precious. You feel me? It's like that. That's 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 a man's, that's a man's need. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like when so many dudes have been inside there, we don't want to put our lips on there. We don't want to put our man cave in there. You feel me? Like we don't want to do all that when so many people have been inside there. You feel me? But when it comes to dudes, it's like you know what I'm saying. It's just society made it normal for dudes to have this amount. A dude can say, "Oh, I got 50 bodies, gang," and you know, and, and he ain't gonna get bashed for it. They ain't gonna talk about them. Let a woman say, "Oh yeah, I got about, I slept with about eighty dudes." Dang, like you know what I'm saying? It's just it's like that. But in all honesty, bro, it could be a level to this. But it, it, like she said, it depends on how you hold yourself. You know what I'm saying? One thing that we need to stop doing is telling women, uh, is basing women off their bodies. You feel me? Because in all honesty, when a woman when a woman has this amount of bodies, it don't define her. You feel me? Just like if a dude had this amount of bodies, it don't define him. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that could have been his past. You feel me? Maybe he is a changed man now. Maybe he's not trying to just be out here slinging. Maybe she's not out here just trying to sling. So that's why I say I'm kind of leaning towards the other side than, you know, like saying like, oh, she is a hoe. But at the same time, it just depends. She didn't really specify everything. So it just, it honestly depends on on what she's meaning by okay if i go over here go over there go over there like it's just like depending on what she meaning you feel me but we really need to stop bashing women for the bodies because bro we too grown you know what i'm saying everybody got a certain amount of bodies everybody got a decent amount of bodies we've been on this earth if you got, if you've been on this earth for 30 years you know what i'm saying you probably got a decent amount of bodies you've been or maybe not good for you but i know nine times out of ten a lot of women probably got a decent amount of bodies if they 30 years old or up or even 20 years old they might got a decent amount of bodies, but that's not our business. You feel me? We can't base the woman off how many bodies they have. You feel me? Hey, y'all let me y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below, man. Y'all let me know because honestly, bro. Honestly, bro, I'm leaning towards like it depends on how you hold yourself. You feel me? I don't I don't feel like you can base the woman off how many bodies they have. The bodies don't matter. You feel me? And then another thing is dudes, they so immature that they feel like if a woman you know, it's open and it's not tight. They feel like, oh, too many dudes been in there. But honestly, uh, it's a sad. Like, I know sometimes it can open up when a woman is very attracted or something like that to you. I heard about something like that. You feel me? Like, I don't really like, go into a woman and say, oh, dang, this, this, it was too open. It was too wide. It, like, I mean, it wasn't tight. It was like, how many dudes been in here? Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't do all that. You feel me? I used to, but I don't do all that. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I'm waiting to marriage now. So, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's not cap. I'm dead serious. I'm waiting to marriage. You feel me? So, mm. I'm drinking it like it's good, but it's really not good, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it's, it's really not good. Maybe I should have added a little sugar to it or something. I don't know. That's that old school joint. Y'all know nothing about that, man. But, uh, yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think it's a level to this or um, or what y'all think about it, bro? But another topic that I uh, do want to get into is social media, y'all. Social media. And that it kind of it kind of goes with this because, in all honesty, social media has a part when dealing with women and bodies in general because think about it. Now, this topic I want to name social media. Why social media is depressing? Social media is depressing because it honestly takes out reality. You know what I'm saying? Social media, it takes out the, the reality aspect of it. We see so many people like this and so many people like that, and we feel like that's what life is all about. We feel like that's how life should be, but honestly, it's not how life should be. You feel me? We see we see so many people. Let me let me move to the middle, y'all. I feel like I'm I feel like I wasn't in the middle. So we go, you know, move to the middle a little bit, move to my you know what I'm saying. I'm trying, I'm trying to get right for y'all, man. I'm trying to get right. But uh, like I was saying, social media take that um uh, take the truth out of life in it. You feel me? And then when it comes to women, I feel like a lot of women hold themselves up to 
to a low standard on social media than what they really want to hold themselves up to. Like a lot of women, they they wonder why they look get looked at like a sex toy. They wonder why they get looked at just like a porn star. Like they wonder why they get looked at it because look how they hold themselves up on social media. If you are posting naked half naked pictures and doing all this why why stuff and posting all these, you know, uh, I don't know if y'all know about this, but on Snapchat you can make a private story. And there's so many different women that got private stories and all they do is post nothing but Point, point, point. You know what I'm saying? That's all they that's all they post. So when you keep posting that and you wonder why you being looked at like this, is because look how you holding yourself up to. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, social media make everything so like unrealistic. Like they make it seem like they make it seem like a, a woman, like somebody could say, Oh man, if a woman got this and men about it, oh they this, they that. But in all honesty, bro, like I said, it don't define you. It don't define who you are. What you post on social media, it still don't define who you are. But at the same time, people will define define what you post than on who you really are. You feel me? If that makes sense. You know, look, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Like, social media will define who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you're not even like that for real. But based off what you posting, that's what social media would define who you are. They'd be like, okay, he like this. Or she like that. She a hoe. She a hoe. She, she posting all this. She doing all this. She a hoe. Simple as that. She this, she that. But in all honesty, you not even like that for real. You just posting it for the for the clicks, for the likes, for the for the feed, for the whatever. You just posting it for that. But in all honesty, you not like that for real. You know what I'm saying? That's why we gotta watch what we post on social media. On top, on top of that, social media, it's not even social media, not even social media no more how it used to be. You know what I'm saying? All it is is people flexing, people scamming, people doing all these different things, people feeling like this is cool, people game banging, people pull, smoking on a weed every day. Like it's not even the same no more how it was when we was kids. You feel me? Back when I was what, eleven years old, social media was social media was the thing. I used to cry to have a Facebook. I Ma, please, let me have Facebook, please, Ma. All my friends on Facebook, Ma, please, Ma, let me have a Facebook. Bro, bro, I don't even got a Facebook no more. You know why? It's depressing. It's depressing. It is depressing. It's nothing but drama. That's all social media is nothing but drama. It's depressing. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, bro, people can't even have fun on social media no more. You know what I'm saying? People can't even have fun on social media without being judged through a screen. It, I'm telling you, it's depressing. It ain't, it ain't what it used to be. You know what I'm saying? It ain't what it used to be at all, bro. And that's the same, uh, that's the, that's the same thing I also want to get into is that when people say, oh, let me focus on myself. Let me work on myself. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all a little secret. Working on yourself don't mean just deleting social media and not talking to nobody. That, bro, that's not working on yourself, okay? <laughs> working on yourself is really accepting all your faults, accepting all the flaws that you have, accepting that you're not perfect. But, you're not trying to be perfect, but you're trying to progress in life. You're trying to realize that, okay, I know I need to stop doing this. Okay, I need to do be better in this. I need to do this. I need to be better in that. It's not simply, oh, let me delete social media. Let me not talk to nobody for a minute. Let me focus on myself. Now you're sitting there bored. Now you're sitting there bored because it's just like, let me, hello. I'm oh, sorry. I, I got to keep checking on my car because bro, I got my car running. It's, it's freezing outside. You know what I'm saying? So I just got to run it and make sure nobody ain't trying to jack your boy. It's a lot of car jackings, but it's okay because my car needs to warm up. You feel me? Um, But yeah, you can't like just delete social media don't mean that you're just working on yourself. You just doing that just to delete social media. Working on yourself is really sitting back and realizing, okay, I'm not perfect, but I need to work on this area of my life. I need to work on this area of my life. Let me distance myself from the entire world. Let me focus on myself. Let me focus on my career. Let me focus on what I want to do and what I want to build in life. You feel me? But most importantly, let me focus on building my relationship with God. You feel me? And uh, speaking of God, y'all, I need to, I'm going to tell y'all the truth about coming to God. Let me tell y'all the truth. Let me break it down to y'all. I need y'all to listen. I'm going to break this down to y'all. This is the truth, okay? And I'm going to, Holy Spirit, speak through me. Speak speak through me on what needs to be said and not what's on my own understanding. You feel me? So that was just a little prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So look, I need to tell y'all the truth about, uh, about coming to God, okay? The truth is you don't have to be perfect to come to God. You don't have to give up all these things right away to come to God. That's the truth. That's the best part about it is that, bro, you don't have to be this way to come to God, bro. People make it seem like you got to be this way. You got to be that way, bro. A lot of people don't want to be Christian or anything, but take the Christian aspect out of it and look at your relationship with God. Okay. If your relationship with God is kind of iffy, well, you need to get it right. 2022. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying, oh, go ahead and stop smoking. You feel me? 
no, don't don't stop smoking. But God will convict you. God will God will switch some things around once you give your whole life to Him. Once you say, okay, God, and you start reading your Bible and you start praying more, you start fasting. Like God will really talk to you and say, okay, look, hey, look, Jay, I'm gonna need you to stop smoking. I'm gonna need you to stop smoking. Now it's up to you whether you obey that or not. You still have free will. So if you don't obey it, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? But if you obey it. God going to keep moving in your life. He going to keep taking things out. And that's another thing. A lot of people want to stop doing certain things. A lot of people want to stop cussing. A lot of people want to stop doing this. But what? guess what? You can't tell yourself, okay, I'm going to stop doing this. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? You know why you can't do it? Because now all day you finna be focused on not doing this. You know what I'm saying? I remember when I said, oh, I'm not going to lie today. That was a lie right there because guess what? I lied the whole day. I lied the whole day and I beat myself up when I lied. The point is you can't, you really cannot stop doing the things that you do because we are in the sinful nature. It's all temptation. But what you could do is come to God, ask, bring, like, I'm not saying just come to God, not just do this little simple prayer. No, give your life to him fully, 100%. Let him come into your life. Let him stir up the pot. Let him whip it up, whip it up, stip it up. You know what I'm saying? And let him come inside of you and change you. Take off all your bad habits. Only he can really do that for you because you doing it on your own time and you doing it on your own understanding. Or I don't know how to put it, but you doing it by yourself. It ain't going to work out, my boy. You can't just stop saying, oh, I'm not going to have sex. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm not going to have sex. You know what? I'm done having sex. That's hard. I was just on TikTok and I just seen big booty women. I mean, it's hard. It's hard to say, oh, I'm not going to have sex. But when you come to God and you let God change your heart and you let God renew you and restore who you are and restore the heart and restore the everything inside of you and take away that lust and take away all that temptation you have against sex, I mean, he will really do that for you. You just got to want it. Those who seek will find. That's a Bible scripture. Those who seek will find. So when you seek God, when you seek him, you will find him. Those who knock at God. I need my life to be changed around. The door will be open. Think about that, y'all. That's the truth about coming to God. The truth is, all that I just said, if you didn't get out of nothing, <laughs> if you didn't get nothing out of what I said, the truth is coming to God meaning that you don't have to change nothing to come to God. You don't have to change anything, bro. Nothing at all. God will change you. Don't think that you got to come to God and change the way you act, change your attitude. No, keep praying, keep reading your Bible. And when I say keep praying, praying, pray, pray without, um, oh, what's that word I'm looking for? So it's a scripture. Come on, help me, help me pray. Oh, thank you. Holy spirit. Pray without ceasing. Bow. Hello. Pray without ceasing. What you mean? Pray without stopping. Pray consistently every single day and ask God to change you and watch your life change during 2022. I believe that a lot of people's lives is going to change during 2022. You know what I'm saying? Reading your Bible, you ain't got to read it right away. You ain't got to read it right away. If you just reading a verse a day, that's fine. You still feeding your spirit with some type of God. You know what I'm saying? But don't get it too comfortable with just reading a verse every day. Don't just get on your phone and say, oh, verse of the day. Boom. Hello. All right, good. Now it's time to go. But once you get mature, you're going to get all the Bibles. I got a whole stack of Bibles over there. You're going to get all you gonna get all type of different Bibles, all type of different readings, King James, easy to read version, NLT. You'll get all them type of versions. You're going to start highlighting. You're going to start studying it. You're going to start really diving into it. But first thing first, let God change the way you act. Don't let any Christian tell you what to do. Don't let any Christian tell you that you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. No Christian is God. I don't care. Like, yes, it's a judge righteously, but don't let a Christian tell you what to do because at the end of the day, only God could tell you what to do. You know what I'm saying? So when you come to God, because what Christians fail to realize is that they wasn't perfect coming to God. They still have their ways and they still do to this day. So you can't let a Christian tell you, okay, bro, uh, you can't do this. You can't do that. No, let them, let them get right with God on their own because personally, because in all honesty, this is your personal relationship with God. This ain't their personal relationship. This ain't their relationship. This is their personal relationship. So only, only God, only them and God can do what they, you know, can build that relationship together. We can't keep telling people, oh, stop doing this. You can't smoke. Don't smoke. No, you can't drink. You can't get drunk. You can't do that. You can't do that. 
Well, who is we to tell them we can't do that? Because once upon a time, we probably did half of the things they did. Oh, you can't have sex no more. I, but you just got, but you were just sleeping up with some dude the other day. That's what Christians feel the red. They don't want to tell you the truth. They not perfect. Ain't nobody perfect. Don't think you got to be perfect, man. Don't think you got to be perfect. But who, hey, look, man, we on a road. We are on a road. Uh, <laughs> Bro, I had to I had to just explain it, bro. We are on the road, but I just really want people to really come to God because it's not just about giving up the things of this world. You know what I'm saying? It's not about that. It's a deeper meaning to it. It's a deeper meaning behind it all. It's about really dying to your flesh and not going with your flesh. You feel me? That's the, that's the true meaning behind it. So don't feel like you got to give up this. Don't feel like you got to give up that. No. You know what I'm saying? You know how long it took to give up sex for me? You know how long it actually try to t t uh, took for me to give up for God to really free me from pornography or for God to free me from sex. But when I start to real, when my spirit start to really seek him and when I start to really seek him and really knock at his door and say, God, I need help. That's when he came into me and said, OK, sex out, gone. Pornography. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not going to tell you this. Look, I'm going to tell you this. Just because you come to God don't mean temptation not go attack you. When I came to Christ, I was still having sex. I was still watching porn. But I messed up. I messed up. And I confessed that. I confessed that sin. And what I stopped, what I tried to do to stop doing that, because look, you can come to God and you can tell God free from all that, but temptation will still creep on you. But now it's your job to say, okay, what am I doing? What can I do to stop me from falling short? again okay well there's a lot of big booty women on my instagram let me go ahead and unfollow every woman that's half naked oh it's a lot of tiktokers i follow that's always showing their booty. let me go ahead and unfollow them oh um huh oh, my computers they still right here okay let me go ahead and download this blocking site you know what i'm saying one thing that my brother did for me was on the iphone you can block your sites personal sites you could block and put a password on my brother put a password he don't know the password he just randomly put a password he don't know the password he just put a random password so neither one of us get in there so that just that's just what i'm saying you know what i'm saying like i did the same thing for his phone i don't know the password but uh yeah off that topic you know what i'm saying i just pray that everybody come to god you know because that's the best thing that you can honestly do into 2022 is coming to god but look i had this i had this argument right I had this argument at work and it was basically, uh, is it colorist to say I don't date black women, but I find light skin, I find light skins and brown skins more attractive. Like, is that, is that really colorist y'all? Like y'all let me know because honestly, this is how the story went. My homie asked me, um, you know, I'm not, I don't have nothing against dark skin women. I love dark women. I love them. I love them. I love them deaf. Nothing against them. But he asked me, which one would I prefer? Light skins, brown skins, dark skins. I said, I'm kind of on the light skin side. You know, I'm kind of like, I find them more attractive. It's not because of their skin tone. It's not because they're, the, I just find that more attractive. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's a, I feel like it's a, and he's talking about, he's talking about all the background with black people and all like, but I know that. But at the same time, would I date a black woman? Yes, I dated black women. Yes, I would. And I would date them. I, I would date them again. I would date them again. I just find what I find attractive. But if a if a dark skinned woman came up to me and a light skinned okay, look, this is a perfect example. Uh, if a dark skinned woman came up to me and a light skinned woman came up to me, I'm a, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go for which which one is more attractive. But if they're both attractive and they're both fine, then we gotta look at the personality and see where they at, see where they mindset at, see how they move and see how they rolling. You know what I'm saying? That's what then, then that's what we gotta look at. But honestly, bro, I lean towards the more light skin, brown skin side because I just feel like I don't know. It's not it's not about the skin tone. It's not. It's not. It, like, let me know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all think because that's like that's like me saying, oh, I, I date I date uh more white women. Are you gonna call me colorist because I I don't really date black women? But it's all what's about around you. I grew up around light skinned, brown skinned women more than I grew up around dark skinned women. Do I find dark skinned women attractive? Heck yeah! I find them attractive, attractive. But from what I grew up around, which is light skinned, my mother's light skinned, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when I went to school, it was more light skinned, brown skinned women, you know what I'm saying? But dark skinned women wasn't really, 
around. Like, I mean, it was there, but they wasn't really, you know, in the building. Like, I didn't really, like, see them around school. So, like, when I was in kindergarten and everything, I remember just seeing brown skin and light skin women. That's what I kind of started dating. You know what I'm saying? But I don't feel like that's colorist. Y'all let me know if y'all think that's colorist or not. Because honestly, bro, I really want to know the true the true behind that. Like, I know what colorist mean, but y'all let me know is that colorist to go ahead and lean towards this type of women. Uh this type of women and um what I'm trying to say. Okay. I know what I'm trying to say. Y'all let me know is it colorist to date light skinned brown women more than you would date a black woman. Because in all honesty, I don't think that's colorist. I don't think that's colorist at all. You know what I'm saying? If I would if I would date a black woman, but I just mostly find brown skins and light skin attractive. It's like it's like food. I don't I don't like McDonald's like that. But I find that Subway is better. Like I guess that's a bad example. I don't really know if that's a bad example or not. But I'm just trying to put examples out there like, okay, this is my attractiveness. This is what I find attractive. I find this attractive. Like, okay, for example, let's 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 bring out like, okay, let's bring out these. I don't feel like one. I don't want to go into all these boxes. I got a lot. Of, I got a lot of shoes. Okay, so I find this shoe more attractive than I find this shoe. You see what I'm saying? It's all. It's just about my attractiveness. Like, I just find this more attractive than this. You know what I'm saying? I don't wear these. I wear these probably a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? So it just. It's all about what I find attractive. And I feel like that wasn't colorist. But he kept saying that I was colorist. He kept saying that I was this and I was that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's like, would you date, would you date a skinny woman or a fat woman? If a big woman coming up to you and then a, a slim, thick, skinny, you know, petite, nice thighs and all type of, you know what I'm saying? And she came up to you too. Which one are you choosing? Which one do you find more attractive? The big, big woman? Or the slim, thick, nice thighs, all type of booty, booty all type back there looking delicious. Like, which one do you find more attractive? That that's what that's what you gotta look at. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, anyways, man, I hope you guys really enjoyed this podcast, bro. This is kind of a short podcast. I'm gonna have a longer podcast soon when I bring more people on here. But this is myself. Like when it's just me, it's gonna be more of like a short podcast. You feel me? But I hope you guys really enjoyed this podcast, man. We got all the topics that I want to talk about out the way. So I hope you guys enjoy this podcast. I love each and every one of y'all, man. Uh, man, I'm just excited to keep going on with this podcast. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section below. I will be reading comments. So y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Uh, and hey, we should keep going. We should keep going. I love every last one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. The Pan TV podcast, man. We on top, man. We going on top. Yes, sir. I love y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.